everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Cook Like a Japanese channel. Today I'm making salt grilled Pacific Sauri. Pacific Sauri is one of the most popular fish in Japan, especially in fall, autumn season. And it's super easy to get and the price is so cheap. Pacific Sauri is one of the few fish you can eat the internal organs as well. I like to have the internal organs, but I feel like not everyone likes to have the internal organs, so it's all up to you if you have it or not. You know, to make salt grilled Pacific Sauri is not difficult, I mean, it's super simple, and the taste is super yummy. So why don't you try it at your home? Alright, let's get started! The ingredients for salt grilled Pacific Sauri is only two. The first one is of course fresh Pacific Sauri. Please check its mouth first. Choose the one with the yellow mouthed Pacific Sauri. Plus, uh, please check the eyes. If the eyes are not clear, it's not fresh enough. And the other one is white radish. You're gonna grate it into daikon noroshi. It's a Japanese word for grated white radish. And this is optional, but the third ingredient is lemon no sudachi, Japanese lemon. You can add the cut lemon or sudachi on the plate. Uh, you got three steps to make salt grilled Pacific Sauri. Step one is to prepare the fish. Remove the scale if it's still on. And to remove the fish smell, put some salt on uh, both sides and leave it for 10 minutes or so in the fridge. And then you wash it and wipe it with paper towel and you have to cut it into two if the fish is too big for your grill or for your plate. I'm planning to use this plate so I'm gonna cut it into two. I'll show you how to cut it without hurting the internal organs. And then for the salt for seasoning both sides. Step two is to grill the fish. In Japan, fish is supposed to be left-headed when it's served. Yeah, you can tell by looking at the fish plate, like, you know, left-headed. So, please start with the left-headed side first, this side first. Then, grill it for 4 minutes and then flip it over for another 4 minutes. Uh, it's gonna be done. You know, step 3 is to prepare the white radish. You know, I recommend you to do this during you grill the fish. You know, just cut the white radish and peel the skin, then grate it and remove excess water. Then plate it in the plate and, and daikon oroshi, a grated white radish supposed to be below the fish. You know, be sure to plate it left-headed. Okay, it's not that difficult. Why don't we go on to step one? Why don't we go on to step one? Step one is to prepare the fish. Just check if the scale is removed or not. This one is removed, so that's okay. But if it's not removed, you can remove it by using the knife. Put some salt onto the uh, Pacific Sauri. It's not for seasoning. It's for the uh, remove the fish smell. You can wash it so you don't have to care about the blood or those kind of stuff at this stage. And then keep it in your fridge for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes has passed so why don't we wash the fish. Okay, wash it in a bowl like this. Pacific Sauli is so soft, so uh, handle it with care. Right, wipe it with paper towel. And if it's too big for your grill or plate, cut it in half, but not like this. You're gonna lose the uh, all internal organs, so this is symbolic, you know, this is what you can't pronounce, but you know, make a slant cut here. Right. Like 
like this. Okay, next thing you do is to some salt on it. Start with this side. It's right-headed. So you're gonna grab it after you grab the left-headed side. Put some salt on thin. It's easy to get burned. So why don't we go into step two? Grill the fish. Step two is to grill the fish. Left headed side, this side first. The burner of the grill is up, so this side is supposed to be first. Four minutes. When we prepare the uh, daikon oshi, grated white radish, during I grill the Pacific celery. I guess this is enough for one fish. Right, peel the skin with knife. Be careful not to move the knife. Just move the white radish. This is called katsuramuki. Try not to cut your finger. Alright, this is done. Yeah, you can grate the white radish with this. Sometimes you should check the fish. It's alright. And you can remove excess water from here. Plus, you remove the excess water with this. Yeah, this is gonna help you. Dash. Dash. Yeah. It's alright. Set it aside. Okay, now four minutes has passed. It's not grilled yet, so another one minute. No, I'm gonna show you how it's not grilled yet. Yeah, it's not grilled yet. Another one, two minutes. See what has happened. Okay, it's good. So why don't you flip it over? Okay, why don't you wait it for another five minutes? It's been just three minutes has passed, but check it out. Oh, it's okay. Okay, it's done. Done. So why don't you turn off the heat and plate it? All right, now it's time to plate. You know, fish is supposed to be left headed. This and I'll put the uh, daigon no roshi as well. Right here. Alright, so the uh, salt grilled Pacific Sauli is ready now. Why don't you pour some soy sauce here? It will be really nice. Alright, thanks for watching. Now you know to make salt grilled celery isn't that difficult so why don't you try it at your home anyway if you like this video please put thumbs up button and leave some comments down below and subscribe all right i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching take good care arigato see you soon bye bye